So guys, today back for another video on the channel today we're here for the new Castle United vs PSG predicted team. Yes, you heard me right. PSG are playing Newcastle United at St James's Park and today we've got the predicted team. I'm recording this just after the after the Burnley game so we know about some injuries and whatnot. But if there if any injuries happen before the game, I d I I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not a fucking mind reader. If you wanna go and see the preview, I bought the top there'll be a link in, in the description and on the entry to go and see that. Anyways, let's get the video now boys. Let's look at my predicted team. So this is my predicted team for the game versus PSG. Bottom of the top as we always do, this is our first Champions League game at St. James Park in over 20 years. Let's have it then. In goal Nick Pope, five clean sheets in five games. Can't complain about that. He will start and go for this game versus Newcastle. In the defence, it is exactly the same as what happened against Burnley. Botman will not be back fit, which is such a shame, but I think Jamal Lascelles leads Newcastle United. I think it's a nice touch as well, starting Lascelles. He made the he got made the club captain when we were in the championship, and he's been at the club ever since. Stuck loyal to her, and it'd be nice if he could walk the lads out. To their first Champions League game is in James Park with a display and whatnot by War Flags. It's just nice, but Trippier will be the leader on the pitch as well. They're both very good leaders. Trippier, Lascelles, Fabian Short start and Dan Byrne um, at left back on say Target or Lewis Hall starting. In the midfield, only change there is Eddie Anderson's been dropped the bench and I've brought Tonali um, and then Bruno and Longstaff. I think it's a given. Longstaff starts um, and Ment again are there. 100% start. I don't know why he didn't, wasn't on the bench against Man City, but it might have just been to get invested, which is perfectly fine by me. We won the game and obviously he played on Saturday against Burnley and won, so Sean Longstaff is there with Tonali. I think, obviously, came on. I think he probably would have started Joel Linton in this game, or maybe he put Joel Linton on the left and going out on the right. I, I, it, we've got a couple of calls. Um, to call, but with Joe Linton being out, which is a which is a guarantee, which is a, such a shame as well, because he's been up the down the dumps, getting called the worst sign in Premier League history and whatnot. And he's raised himself up, and he missed the AC Milan game. He's going to miss his PSG game. Hopefully, he'll not be out um, for the rest of the Champions League because he deserves to get a Champions League appearance with Newcastle United, especially at St James's Park. The reason why I've got Tonali, Bruno and, and Longstaff in, that is the midfield. I can see Elliot Anderson dropping to the bench. In the attack, Gordon, Almond, is at the same as Burnley. It looks like Callum Wilton will still be out injured. Harvey Barnes is obviously out until next year, which is, which is a shame. And obviously with him scoring, Hansi Almond starting and, and, and Jacob Murphy dropping to the bench from our last Champions League game against AC Milan. That's my particular team boys, let me know your thoughts. And that is the end of the video boys, a massive, massive game against PSG, I honestly I can't wait for this game. Tomorrow is going to be an amazing day, the vlog will be out on the channel like normal and I simply can't wait. Make sure to leave a like boys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I'll see you all for the vlog tomorrow, massive, massive day.